Perfect. Oh, dang it. Mmm. Fruity. All right, I have to be somewhere in like an hour. So to set myself a reminder, I'm going to go ahead and use my new Ozaki-chan uh, alarm clock here. I mean, most people would just use like an iPhone or something, but uh, I am next level weeb. I haven't used an analog clock in so long, Jesus Christ. All right, so I'm just gonna set it like there and it's just gonna go off randomly during this video and probably scare the shit out of me, but uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be funny, it'll be a goof, it'll be a, it'll be a gaff. Okay, I think I need to set it a little bit farther ahead. We'll go ahead and we'll just put that, uh, we'll put that right there so we can keep an eye on it. Oh, hold on guys, I'm getting a phone call. Hang on here. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you? Yeah, no, I, I had, I had fun too. Yeah, it was good to see you. No, no, I'm not, I'm not doing any anime stuff right now. No, I'm not wearing any Monster Mizume clothes right now. No, that's... <laughs> No. Look, she's not a blow-up doll, okay, Mom? She's... It's... This isn't a phase. She is a highly collectible, Azure-themed punching bag. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there for your birthday. Okay, so... Yep. Yep. Kisses. I actually found my old phone from middle school slash high school, and uh, it's pretty great. It's, like, completely broken, but the front screen still barely works, and it actually shows the SpongeBob meme where it's, like, where Mr. Krabs is hanging out with Patrick and SpongeBob as they go to the club and all that. It's that part where they're playing like Dungeons and Dragons and he says, art thou feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? So if you're wondering what AP's humor was about 10 years ago, uh, now you know. It really hasn't changed much. Super Sonico, the woman, the myth, the legend. Now on this channel, I've definitely covered my fair share of Sonico merch, mostly pertaining to her uh, variety of anime figures, uh, which I've reviewed uh, quite a few. And most of you are aware of who Super Sonico <clears throat> And most of you watching are going to be aware of who Super Sonico is. She's uh, kind of hard not to know about uh, in the in the anime collecting world. It's kind of like Hatsune Miku. If you spend any time on Ami Ami or any other figure slash anime collecting websites, you're going to stumble across Super Sonico at some point or another. But for those of you watching who don't know who Super Sonico is, that's okay. I'm going to do a little mini documentary here to show uh, who Super Sonico is and how she has become popular over the last uh, decade or so. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of AP's Behind the Scenes, the waifu behind the laifu. I literally just made that up on the spot. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. She's cute and is thick. So that pretty much sums up who Super Sonico is and why she has been so popular over this last decade or so. Some of my favorite merchandise to collect is from anime in that 2007 to 2010 era. And there is a ton of Super Sonico goodies kind of in that time frame, uh, usually for dirt cheap too. And what better way to show off some Sonico goodies, a little bit of a blast from the Sonico past than opening up a 10-year-old Super Sonico premium collector's box. That's right, this is 10 years old. If I have to think back 10 years ago, I think I had just gotten back from my second tour of Vietnam. We had had some really bad battles against the Eskimo people and their and their uh, seal-mounted uh, cavalry. Just a crazy war. It really was a an interesting time. I almost I almost made myself laugh there. I picked up this premium box on Mandarake, oh gosh, almost a year ago now. I've been sitting on this for quite a while, but I've always wanted to open it up on video uh, to see kind of what goodies are inside. I have no idea what's inside this box. I don't know if it has a tapestry or a CD or, or what kind of Sonico goodies are going to be contained inside this uh, piece of cardboard. So I thought it'd be best if we find out together. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and take a look at this 10 year old Super Sonico premium collector's box. I think these are some of my favorite things to open up on this channel because it's it's always a mystery. It's like, I honestly have no idea what I've bought. It just looked like a good deal at the time. So I picked it up and thought, hey, you know, as long as I get a video out of it, then it's, it's probably gonna be worth it. But here's a look at the box itself, and uh, it's quite intriguing. It kind of has this like CG Sonico on the front. Uh, I don't know if this is from the Communication with Sonico game. That's kind of what I'm assuming because it's right around the same time period of that. And then along the sides of the box and the borders, you have a ton of different pictures of Sonico. Everything from secretary costumes to her and her little army sweater to her and her uh, her bikini. And that bikini outfit actually turned out to be a, a figure down the road. So. Uh, 
that's quite nice to see. And then on the back here, you have a whole bunch of Japanese text uh, showcasing what I'm assuming is going to be in the box, but uh, it's hard to tell. I don't read Japanese, so this is all... This is all hieroglyphics to me. But yeah, overall looks great. Uh, definitely caught my eye. It's from that generation of anime that uh, I was really big into. It's right when I was personally really getting into anime. So it's always cool to see things from kind of that era. I don't know if this has been opened already. Uh, looks like it just opens at the top, so maybe. Yeah, let's see what goodies we got. Yeah. All right, first things first is we got this, uh, what I'm assuming is like a docky slash wall scroll. Something of that sort in this little plastic case here. Then we also have a a CD of some sort, I'm assuming. <laughs> that is some old tape there. That tape's been doing its job for over 10 years now, you, uh, You've done good tape, you can you can rest now. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely a CD. We'll go ahead and play that here in a sec, but first I wanna uh I wanna peep game on this uh this object here. Oh, and we also got some sort of magazine, so we'll we'll take a look at that here in a second. But you guys know me. If I see anything, uh, any sort of fabric with an anime girl on it, I I need to know what it is, like now. It's not a docky. It doesn't feel like a docky. It's kind of more rough, like towelish kind of. Oh, I guess it's okay. So I guess it's just kind of like a little wall scroll tapestry thing. It's just printed on kind of a odd material. But there's Sonico in all her glory. That pretty much sums up the whole uh, documentary I had on her, why she's popular. Particularly like right here is why she's popular. And then like right right here. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little uh, tapestry there. I think I'm just going to call it that because I don't I don't know what else to call it. Call it freaking beautiful. That's what I'm gonna call it. And then also, as stated before, we have this Super Sonico magazine here, which I've actually never seen this before. Oh my god. The, oh. If you are a Sonico fan and you don't have this magazine slash box, you are missing out. Oh my god. I didn't even know Sonico did a crossover with Black Rock Shooter. I Of all the anime pictures I've ever seen, I have never seen that one. Two of my favorite things brought together. Sonico with the Gears of War gun there. There's Miku Sonico, and then uh, Sonico with the little Miku plushie. Oh my god, this is... There's Halo Sonico. How has no one ever told me about Halo Sonico? As much time as I've spent looking at freaking naked anime girl pictures, I've never seen Halo Sonico. I probably would actually play Halo then if it had Sonico in it instead of generic male man. 58. That's one of my favorite Sonico figures ever made. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been trying to get this figure for so long. <laughs> Dude, I remember seeing this picture somewhere way before I was even into anime. Like, I was probably... I was just a wee lad when I saw that, and I was like, you know what? That's okay with me. This magazine's amazing. I love art books. I love seeing all the different uh, art behind the scenes of their, some of my favorite characters. And this is amazing. It showcases a lot of different art that uh, became figures in the future. A lot of pictures from the game itself that are super well done. A lot of interesting mashups too. I mean, we got Halo, Black Rock Shooter. We got a couple of Mikus in here. This is amazing. This was worth it just for the magazine itself to have this on my shelf and and look through just all these super cute Sonico pictures. My uh, hypothesis of why Sonico is so popular is uh, she very much has this girl next door feel. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to open CDs. I literally haven't opened a CD in like a fortnight, so uh, I, I don't know how this works. I'm just gonna go at it with a knife and uh, we're gonna see what happens here. Nah. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and play this. I don't actually know if I have a CD drive anymore, but... Uh, I'll look for one. Okay, I actually found one here, so uh, let's go ahead and see if this still works. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as we took a look at this Super Sonico Premium Collector's Box from over 10 years ago. This was definitely a piece of Super Sonico merch I wanted to do a video on. You never really know what you're going to get with these uh, old premium collector boxes, so it's always kind of a, a mystery. But for the price that I paid and the goodies that I got, uh, I think it was definitely worth it. Just the magazine alone with all the different art and kind of mashup Sonico pieces in it. Uh, I'm super happy to have that. I didn't even know that existed and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be awesome to flip through that and have it on my shelf here behind me. But once again, thank you guys. Remember the links to all my social media will be down in the description. So if you wanna hang out with me on Discord, if you wanna check out my Instagram, the links to all that will be down there. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to catch all of you in the next one.
Peace.